Hi guys, so recently I showed you how to execute ducky scripts stored on a micro SD card with an Arduino Pro Micro. If you haven't watched that video yet, I suggest you do, link is in the description, because I'll assume you already have that knowledge in this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to store many ducky scripts on a single micro SD card and switch between them easily using dip switches. Then I'll show you how to make this way more possible for real life use. And everything I'm using here is really cheap, so links to buy all these components are in the description. So in the last video, I showed you this script I'd written, which would just execute the single ducky script, scripts.txt, from a micro SD card. But in this video, we're going to be using one of these. This is a dip switch. It's essentially just a set of switches on a single module. So I can plug it into my breadboards, connecting all the pins on one side to ground, and the other set of pins to six, seven, eight, and nine on the Arduino. So now I have four switches which can be triggered independently of one another. So these are what we're going to be using to switch between all the different ducky scripts. Given that switches are either on or off, their states are binary. So by combining the states of the different switches, we can achieve up to two to the power of four, which is 16 different combinations. So in this example, we'll be able to switch between up to 16 different scripts. So we can modify the scripts I showed you in the last video by adding a block of code here and changing the default file name where it says sd.open to dip. So of course, all this code is gonna be in the description. So, um, this declares pins six, seven, eight, and nine as switches. And here it will check to see if each of those pins are either on or off. If they're on, it will add a one to the dip string. If they're off, it will add a zero to the dip string. And then it will add txt on the end. And then it will execute the file, well, it will open the file that has the corresponding file name. So here I have 16 files with all the possible switch combinations. If, for instance, I only have this last switch on, then file 0001.txt will be executed. However, if I have all the switches on, then file 1111.txt will be executed, etc. So in order to make this thing a little more portable, I'm going to be starting off with an Arduino Pro Micro without the headers, so it's a lot more sleek. And then I'm going to be using an OTG adapter that I covered in a previous video. So this is going to allow us to plug it straight into a computer without the need for an, another cable. And then with the micro SD card reader, that's probably going to go here. And I'm going to desolder these headers, of course, so it will be uh, a little sleeker. And then these dip switches, since they're going to be going, well, four of the pins are going to be going on six, seven, eight, and nine, I'm probably going to be soldering those here. And then, of course, bending the other pins and connecting those to ground. So when it's all put together, it should be fairly sleek and portable. So yeah, let's go do that. So firstly, I desoldered the headers on the micro SD module, which was not a pleasant experience. And then I shortened half of the pins on the dip switch, just so it would be easier to solder on a piece of wire. So this is gonna be able to connect all those pins to ground quite easily. So then I just soldered everything together and this is what I came up with. I didn't bother filming the process because it was very tedious, very fiddly, and you probably wouldn't have been able to see much. But uh, yeah, I've hot glued the two boards together and it's slightly off center to allow more room for these wires here. In hindsight, if I were to do this again, I'd probably use thinner wires. These were all I had, so it just made everything a whole lot fiddlier. And yeah, I'd probably lay this out a bit better. But apart from that, I think I'll, it turned out really well. So yeah, this isn't the sort of thing you're gonna be able to leave in a car park and just hope someone picks it off the ground and plugs it into their computer. But if you're going around a load of computers, it could be really useful, I think. You could have like a, a reverse shell with this. If I can get it, yeah, reverse shell with that. You could have Windows, still Windows long on hashes with that. You could have still cookies with that. And you've got 16 different options. So I just think it makes everything a bit more versatile. You've got your micro SD here. So that's great, so yeah. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you. Uh, remember to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Satonic. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for more hacking videos.